in today's video i'm going to show you guys a free way that i get auto captions for my videos in final cut pro and with this method we're going to export our final video right inside final cut pro and through that we'll not lose the video quality all right guys let's get started so assume you finish editing your videos in Final Cut Pro. Select all your audio or sound effects or music that you have. Disable them by pressing V. Then go to your export settings side. So with this, we we'll select computer and then we'll select very low quality. We don't need good quality for this kind of method. Or also you can easily select only audio and then export audio and do with the audio. And then click on next. Choose a folder that you want to save in to copy. With this next step, we would need another software that's CapCut. It's free, absolutely free. You can get it on App Store. You can just go there and search for CapCut and then download it and install it. So with this, I already have it, so I'll just click on open. Don't sign in, just click on new project. And one thing about CapCut is they have almost the same features like Final Cut Pro. So when you know most of the features on Final Cut Pro, it will be easy for you to understand CapCut. So with this, we have it already here, just like Final Cut Pro, our browser, our video or viewer side, where we see our parameters and also our timeline. So with this, just click on import. It's gonna direct you to the folders or your finder then over there you can choose the folder that you save the video in this select and then import also you can go straight to the finder select the video and drag and drop in your browser then we just click on the video drag and drop it in our timeline next go to your test click on auto captions select the language that you're speaking I was speaking English so I'll select that and then click on create so now it's ready I'll just go through it play it and see if I have to do necessary correction or not with this i don't have any corrections to do but if you have any corrections you can just click on it then you go to test and over there you can do the changes on there so let's say if i was saying clips i can just add s to it and it's going to add right there now as you can see from here some of the tests are more than three and usually i want it to be three words on the screen so with this just click on the test go to captions so with this i just want you can easily so just click on this drop my cursor at just at the remove delete the space between them then press enter and that's going to create a new test for me and that's really nice feature so with this i also want it to be just three so i just click here delete the space between them then press enter and it's going to create a new test for me once you're done with that just click on the title go to test and once you're there make sure you have apply to all so with this you just select the font style that you want usually with CapCut, whatever font style you have on your computer it's going to bring it out in CapCut. so i will use futura the size i'll go with somewhere 12 like it to be bold so i'll select that the color i'll go with somewhere yellow then with the scale i'll leave it just like the way it is then if you want glow shadow and background you can also use that with the background it's really a nice feature you can just select that and change the background color right here if you want it to be white you can just drag it here and it's going to change over there so with this i don't like background i'll just leave it just like that and also if you want some images you can go to stickers and CapCut comes with a whole lot of of images you can get so many of them over here let's say with the green screen i want to point on that drag it here make it the same length with this then go on this side on the screen exactly on the green screen i'll play and show you guys how it looks like so from here you can watch more videos on auto caption in CapCut, so you can be creative with it so now we are done with auto caption and we want to export just wait a minute like this where you do one trick and it's really cool so you go to your browser this test i was using yellow color so i'll go for blue sc click on one then download it go back to CapCut. go to my downloads folder drag the image on my timeline and this you just stretch it to cover the whole timeline so make sure you click on the blue image then go to scale and increase the size so it will cover the whole screen then click on your video and press v to disable it we don't need that then you go to export name it choose the folder by clicking on this folder icon and select exactly where you want to place it click on open resolution 1080p mp4 frame rating i was shooting in 24 frames per second so i'll maintain it just the way it is then click on export now we're back in final cut pro go to the finder wherever you save your video from CapCut. click on that and one good thing about CapCut is it creates srt file for you so let's say if you want to embed your captions to your videos you can easily use this srt for that it's really cool feature from CapCut, and it's completely free so click 
click on the file that we have, drag it on your timeline. Then click on that file, go to your effect section side, go to mask and key in, drag green screen key here and drop it on it. And so just like that, I have my photo captions right inside Final Cut Pro. So when I'm happy with that, I can just easily export my videos from Final Cut Pro and then upload it on any social media platform. Now, if you want to see another ways of getting auto captions in Final Cut Pro, I did a comparison video right here. You can check on that. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.